Hello, hello. This is part two of how to let go of your crush. Okay, so I might change the title of that later on, but either way, this is part two. All right, so in part one, I did talk about, oh yeah, this is Talk to Magic, where you can talk to magic. I'm magic. Please do consider subscribing. And of course, by the end of this video, if you thought that this was helpful, please do remember to, to hit the thumbs up and leave a like, okay? So in part one, I covered, you know, kind of how to, how to identify a crush, first of all, right? How do you know if you're crushing on someone? And then number two, um, how to kind of like stop thinking about them. And I, I'm going to expand on that. But then also, I did also discuss kind of like how to bring your feelings to a close. And this will also kind of be tied to that as well. So when it comes to letting go of a crush, um, number one, you've got to realize that there probably is a good reason for you to stop crushing on this person. Whether or not, um, whether or not the first reason is because they might or might not be attracted to you. Um, either way... I want to say when we're interested in someone and when we're crushing on them, a lot of the time, the crush that we develop has to do with these fantasies that we think about them. Um, we might have seen small qualities that would indicate um, different characteristics. You know, we might have seen different parts of their personality that we were really attracted to. But the thing is... Um, you know, a lot of the time you might not have the most accurate view of who this person is, okay? I, I've noticed that a lot of the time when I've had a crush on someone and when we didn't, when it really didn't go anywhere, I actually realize now that most of those people were very, very, um, not only incompatible with me, but they had some issues that, I mean, they were all completely different people, right? But with completely different sets of issues, but everybody has issues. <laughs> everybody has their own problems. And a lot of the time we really don't realize how these people that we're crushing on might have some very complex issues that we wouldn't really want to deal with anyways. Okay. So first of all, just realize that you might be doing yourself a major favor by letting go, okay? You might really be saving yourself a lot of heartache. And I want to say a lot of crushes, now this is just my like hypothesis, it might be over 50% of crushes that people have are somewhat mutual, okay? A lot of the time that I a lot of the times that I've had a crush on someone, these were people that also had crushes on me. Okay, and a lot of the time my crushes were um, instigated by their like of me or their flirtation with me or whatever. And um, I never really at the time realized that um, their inability to establish a relationship with me, their inability to communicate or their lack of a desire to define the relationship um, were just major indications of the unhealthiness that these people have within them, if that makes sense. Um, just a lot of the unhealthy traits that people have and never heal through or heal past or whatever. And a lot of the time, the issues that we have personally come into our relationships so it's kind of like if somebody is unable to communicate with you and tell you like hey i want a relationship with you i want to date you let's go out we've been you know going out hanging out for months now let's actually be in a relationship their lack of ability to do that um is an indication of many different issues that they have okay they might not be they might be immature they might be indecisive they might be insecure and looking for validation from people who they are physically attracted to, okay? I've noticed, and man, wow, I didn't intend to go this far. Um, 
but a lot of the time I feel like when we are physically attracted to someone, we idealize the physical attraction that we have to them. And we start coming up with all these different imaginations about this person based off the fact that they have a few qualities we are we are hoping to find in a partner, hoping to, yeah, hoping to find in a partner. Um, and it all comes down to us hoping to receive some sort of validation from someone who we think um, is higher than ourselves in some capacity, okay? And the reason why I say all this is because um, I've come to a point where I, I find myself attractive, okay? And when I go out and about, men that are attractive don't int intimidate me. Um, men that are, you know, considered typically good looking, I don't feel necessarily afraid or nervous around them. Okay, I do around the people that I that I like personally that I'm actually interested in. But I want to say a lot of people who are around people that they find attractive typically get very uncomfortable. And this is a, a major sign that they are very insecure. Anyways, um, I don't know why I said that or why I brought that up. But, you know, maybe maybe that's something to work on if you experience that. <laughs> Just building up yourself, you know, building up your your own physical um, appearance, you know. And a lot of the time, I want to say, people really just need to put in the effort. You know, they need to just wash their face more often, you know, develop a, develop a routine with their skin. You know, I want to say that my skin did not always look like this, okay? And, and um, it, it's taken a lot of effort for me to... to to develop a routine it, it's a discipline you have to be disciplined okay when you see somebody who's really attractive just know that they put the work in okay it takes work um but yeah so with all that being said in order to let go number one it's interesting because there have been many different times where i noticed that because i was crushing on someone when somebody who was actually interested in me, who I would actually be very interested in later on, when I was so wrapped up in that initial crush, um, that second person came along and I totally blew them off. You know, I totally just didn't even care about their their presence because I was so wrapped up in this first person. But then when I realized that this first crush was going nowhere, I started crushing on the other person and I realized like, oh, wow, you know, um, I messed up, you know, I messed up that first time and, and that first crush really messed me up. Right. So it's kind of like, let go, let go as soon as possible when you see that it's not going somewhere, because when they say that you could end up blocking that next relationship or that next thing that happens, it really is true. And I feel like, of course, you know, the way things worked out, that probably wasn't going to be a very good relationship for me anyways. But it's there is a lesson in that. You know what I mean? There's a lesson in letting go as soon as possible so that you can move on to what is possible, you know, what is available. And I feel like when we have crushes on people, we become so focused on that one person that we kind of feel like, oh my gosh, there's nobody else in the world that could possibly, <clears throat> that I could like this much. And it's true, okay? Like, everybody is so unique. Everybody is special. And of course, you're probably not going to meet anyone that is just like this individual, and that's okay. The thing is, there are so many other more spectacular people in the world. And in order to really realize that in order to be able to see that you have to let go um you have to bring things to a close in your mind um you have to give yourself closure i really do recommend watching part one because um because i give you like a couple of tips and a couple like an activity and how to let go so 
as I was saying, you might not have the correct view of this person. Um, you know, it could be, you know, the universe or God or whatever it is that you believe in keeping you from what is beneath you anyways, okay? Um, you know how they say like energy attracts like energy? Well, um, I'd have to say that there have been many times where I was really doubting that I was attractive, that I was desirable, but guaranteed you've had experiences that have proven otherwise, you know? And if you haven't, as I said, you might just need to do some work on yourself. You might need to get in shape. You might need to get a, a haircut. You might need to, you know, if you're a man, you might need to shave your beard off. You know, you might need to grow a beard, you know? <laughs> There's a variety of things that people can do to make themselves more attractive. Um, so if it really comes down to it, if you find yourself struggling to not look that person up online, if you struggle not, you know, um, I wouldn't say stalking them online because you really can't stalk someone online. Stalk, like, in a sense, I guess you could low level, it's, it's a lower level of stalking, but you really don't exactly know what's going on with people by looking at things online. But if you, for some reason, can't seem to stop looking at what they post online or, you know, stuff like that, watching their material, looking at their whatever, you know, looking at their friends and family's stuff or whatever, block them, okay? Okay block them because you've got to create some sort of a barrier between you and anything involving this individual um so mind you I, i've i've blocked multiple crushes and it's interesting because of course you might be feeling like dang i can't block this person because i work with this person well do whatever you can to separate yourself. Do whatever you can to minimize their presence in your life, whether this is deleting their number from your phone and just keeping their email and keeping your, your correspondences to email or because it is more impersonal and it's kind of like you're just putting it in your own mind and in their mind and it's it's it helps a little bit. But if you're working with this person collaborating with this person try to maybe remove yourself from the project okay um try to make up an excuse try to make up a reason um if that's not possible then just kind of like bite the bullet and, and and try to occupy occupy your mind with something or someone else okay like <laughs> i've had to do that a couple of times where i just kind of had like a temporary crush you know um and i just kind of like just started paying attention to someone else but if you can block them do block them if you feel like they're going to get the hint that you like them by blocking them so be it whatever it takes to help you not think of this person okay whatever it helps to get you to get them out of your mind um and really continuously tell yourself positive things you know Tell yourself that there is somebody that you're not only going to crush on, but that they're going to crush on you and you're going to be in a relationship, you know? Believe it because it is, it's, it's always possible. There are so many people in this world, okay? So many different ways that people become attracted to each other. And um, if you continue to work on yourself, work on your appearance, work on educating yourself, work on loving yourself which is a commitment right it's not a it's not how you feel it's it's what you do for yourself okay that is love um the more that you show yourself love the more that you give yourself love um the more that you move in a positive direction the better you will feel about yourself you know um and also realize that <clears throat> This person, um, it, it's funny how things work out when you let go, you know, when you let go of somebody and you really decide to move on, you really do 
come off differently. You might be the completely same person. You might be you might not love yourself any less or any more after letting go of this person, but or you know, you might not feel any differently about yourself after letting this person go, but realize that people's perception of you changes when you let go of them. You know, it's kind of like they could have been assuming all different kinds of things about you, but when you finally decided to block them, let them go and never never look back, they are really able to look at themselves, you know? I've been in a variety of situations where my crush on someone made them feel way better about themselves than they had before. Um, and once I really did let go of that person, once I, you know, moved away from them and, and showed them that, you know, their presence was kind of like, however, to me, um, you know, I kind of got to see how, it, how that affected them. And a lot of the time I want to say people will stop themselves from feeling how they want to feel dependent on the issues that they have you know you might have had somebody who was flirting with you was you know giving you all these signs and you could maybe even see in their eyes that they definitely were attracted to you maybe you saw in your peripheral vision how much they really did pay attention to you but then for some reason whenever you tried to communicate with them or whatever they just kind of like acted like they were too good or whatever you gotta realize that that's not your fault okay it has nothing to do with you okay when people are not able to communicate when people don't make things clear to you when people play games um just realize that you don't know exactly what you're dealing with unless you do but you might not it might this person might be a lot more um difficult than you could even imagine you're really just seeing the surface and if it's already confusing if it's already making you feel negatively um then just know that it'll only become more intense even if you did get in a relationship with this person and it is unfortunate it is unfortunate when you realize that somebody you had such strong feelings for is not capable of <clears throat> having a healthy relationship but the thing is, when you let go, you really do allow them to realize that they have things to work on. Um, and it's funny because when you let go of somebody who's been looking at you as less than because you liked them or because you communicated interest, because I see this happening too, when you show somebody that you're interested and then they kind of look down on you like you're like less than when people do this um number one of course it really has nothing to do with you but then number two when you walk away um they are able to reflect on like like this is probably the best thing you could do for them is to walk away and to stop thinking about them and to even maybe block them because then they're really able to review their thoughts They'll, they'll look at themselves, they'll look at what they thought of you, they'll realize that they were wrong, and then it'll trickle down into the other areas of their life that need to be addressed, you know, so it's kind of like, you know, when that's why they say, if you love somebody, you'll let them go, you know, and it's so true, help, help, help the person that you're crushing on by letting them go, you know, and help yourself by letting them go in order to to free your mind to free your heart so that you can actually see that person that is right for you okay subscribe like the video um if you did like the video don't forget to like it and leave a comment let me know if you're if you're going through something like this and and if this has helped you okay peace